hello everyone welcome back at the way to testing.com so today's topic is uh, poso class what is the poso class in this java we will discuss about both the part uh, concept of the poso class and then we will see the practical so this is my website way to testing.com here you will get all kind of std material like java selenium apm maven api and all types of the study material and this is my and also manual testing material and database testing material has been added and also uh, this is my youtube channel here you will get all kind of study material in form of the video so you just need to go to the different different sections and complete series is available over there so let me discuss about what is the poso class and uh, history of the poso class what are the rules of the poso class there are a lot of confusion people are confused uh, too much uh, and also interviewer used to ask these all things because this is very widely used in every kind of project whether you are creating a framework of automation testing or you are doing some spring mbc work so this is a very common concept and it is widely used so what is the poso class basically poso stands for plain old java object and also basically poso is an ordinary object and poso is not bound by any special restriction so basically do not have any kind of restrictions also poso file do not require any specific class path so that due to these above two points basically it increased the readability and reusability of the program so what is the history of the poso class so basically in 2000 uh, there was an american uh, developer so her name was the Martin Fowler. So they have introduced this concept of the POSO. What are the basic rules? So basically these all rules of the POSO class. And also guys, always remember guys, these are the rules and no other, uh, I will explain you about each other thing. So you have to keep these all rules in the mind. First of all, the class must be public. Yes, class must be public. Second thing is that the object in the POSO class this is very important and many person are confused here that object must be private object must be protected or nothing object in the poso class can have any access modifier like public private protected but all instance variables should be provided should be private to for improved security okay and uh, many times when the interviewer uh, employer are giving the wrong answer they are saying that no it must be protected or must be private nothing remember that the object of the puzu class can have any access specifier but um, uh, it must have the default constructor it must have uh, a default constructor actually but it can also have an argument constructor as well and also the every property field must have a greater and setter this is the main main thing that how we will access the variables or member uh, by using the getter and setter so what is the getter and setter if you have seen my previous video where i have explained the concept of the encapsulation so here i have explained the concept of the getter and setter this one so if you have not seen please go to this uh, topic it will very small topic and easily you will get the concept of getter and setter and also uh, yes Poso class should not extend any predefined classes. It should not implement any predefined interfaces, and also it should not have any pre-specified annotation like in a Spring framework. We having some certain annotation at the rate x, y, z, whatever. So it should not have these all things. So what are the basic benefits or advantages of the Poso classes? So as we have already discussed, that it is a due to less restrictions it is uh, it increase the readability and reusability and also is right to uh, easy to write and understand okay so now uh, i will take a very simple example to discuss about the poso class so i will go to the eclipse so i have already created a class i have given it name as a poso class you can give any name so i will create uh, there are two ways guys and also uh, uh, there is a, some interview question i will discuss about these all things so first of all suppose that i'm creating a private variable like private string name and suppose that i'm creating private int is now uh, we have to create the getter and setter for this one so how we will create the getter and setter public string get name okay so here what we will do we will say that return name 
now how we set the name so we will use that the public wide set name and here we will take the argument as a string name or any variable you can take and this we will pass it to the global variable how by using the this keyword so we will say that this dot name means whatever name inside the method it will become the global variable so it is the concept of the this if you don't know the concept of the this keyword so please go to my tutorial where i have explained that this keyword super keyword in detail okay so this is the way to create the getter and setter and also guys if you have less variable then you can create but there is in java there is a, in eclipse there is a basically a shortcut to create a getter and setter just go to the here and here you need you will find an option inside the resources and getter and setter then that you need to you will get all the variable that for the name i have already created so i'm getting a's i will click on the ok so you can see that for the a's variable it have created the getter and setter same what i have already created okay again the same concept this one so now how it will be accessed so it we can be accessed very easily like let me go to this one i have another main class this one there is a main class so first of all i will create the object of my class to whom i want to access the variables so let me create the pob p object is equal to new this one so i have created a object and you can see there is a no constructor that means we are calling the default constructor there and also by using this one we will set the first we will set the name so i am setting the setting the name so name i will pass like way to testing and then i will set the age uh, so i will say that we will the dot set age so a is like 5 here okay. now i will access both the things so i will say that p o b j dot get a and also sys out p o b j dot set sorry get name so you can say that the this is a very simple concept that we can uh, access the variables like this one okay so a is 5 where name is way to testing now guys uh, there be the interviewer may ask or there is one more concept that we don't want to use the getter and setter then how will you do this one so previous to this uh, there is one more very popular interview question can we extend this class so guys remember what i have said here many people are still confused a pozo class should not extend a predefined classes okay so predefined classes are something which is already present in your java libraries so it should not define extend by this one now so any other class so for example suppose that there is a class like this one so now this class can extend this polo class yes now this class means any other class can extend the polo class so don't get confused guys basically if you have read my previous tutorials so i have already explained that uh, if there is a class having some members and some methods if another class will extend so all the variables or all the members will come inside the child class now you are uh, till now you were creating the object of uh, this class now you have to create the object of this class simply very simple nothing or rocket sign so just interviewer want to confuse you and nothing is equal to new and this one now you can see yes we can perform the extent operation or inheritance operation it's working fine now the second question they used to ask if you don't want to use the getter and setter then how we will do that so guys nothing you need to do let me roll back this one okay if you don't want to use the getter and setter yeah so basically the thing is this there is a concept known as the constructor so we will not use these all things basically let me let me remove these all things so first of all i will create a constructor so you know that the constructor name will be same as the class name and here we will give the name of the constructor and inside the argument constructor we will pass the value like string name and integer is and we will say that simply this dot name is equal to global variable 
this dot name is equal to global variable and this dot age is equal to global variable okay now so whatever you will pass in the constructor it will be assigned to the global variable and now we will say that uh, public string sorry string f will be capital string name so this method will simply give you the name or you can say that the uh, any meaningful name like get a name so we will say that return name for so now and also public int get age sorry you can also directly use because we are not using the getter and setter so you can give any name like this one return age so guys remember that previously when we are using the getter and setter we are we have to pass first the set value over there then we can get the uh, we are getting the value so now in this way when you are creating the object of this class so first of all you have to uh, you have to pass the parameters okay so where we will pass the parameter inside the constructor so here we will pass the parameter like name is equal to way to testing and a is equal to five here okay so in this way we can also access the member of the pozo class there are two ways so it is also in the interview posture you can use the getter and setter either you can use the argument constructor so you can access the uh, members of this one Mm, no issue so let me run it's okay so this is the simple concept of the pozo classes and uh, all the details is available here so it's all about the pozo classes in the next class we will come with the new topics so thank you for watching have a great day